I don't know if I understand this film to be honest. Hello guys, I'm Arun Prince and today we are talking about Tejo Jo's Pille series Amen, written by PS Rafeeq, starring Fahad Fasil, Indrajit Sukumaran, Natasha Sehgal and Swati Reddy and music by Prashant Pillai. I should say the producer's name also Farid Khan. Now I was very excited for this film because Fafa, Fahad Fasil and Tejo Jo's Pille series both together now we'll also have a live session discussing about this film so to get that do subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notification whenever we are live many consider this is best film so it was normal to have high expectations now before i get into why this confusion let's talk about the technical brilliance of the film the way they played with the camera it was just lovely to see it was as if the child is given a toy and he's utilizing it to the fullest there are so many shots the camera is attached to a prop and it's moving with that prop throughout a lot of sequence it's like the camera is rigged and it's moving very mechanically not possible by a human being some beautiful composition and framing i'll show some of the sequences on the screen right now and this scene particularly remove all the context from the scene from this shot remove all the dialogues music everything just by studying this shot you can tell what's really happening you can analyze it just from the shot that's how good the composition was look at the staging in the scene the light is only coming on the mother you can only see fahad fasil in the shadow he is placed down and the mother is placed on top as if she is wiser and he is going through tough times brilliant and this is what a good cinematography is that from visuals you are telling a story the lighting was superb the set design was very fantastical throughout the film and it always felt like you're in a fantasy world it's not a real world which is totally opposite in other lijo's films now from the get go you can tell that it is a commercial film it's not like chelikat 2 it's not like imayu that this is not lgp style which i have witnessed till now the film was very stylistic very dramatic a lot of slow mo shots to increase the drama very heightened emotions and the acting was really over the top which was clearly intentional as if the film is trying to comment on the mass commercial films just look at the priest vitoli song just after he gave that amazing speech in the church clearly poking at you know the mass commercial hero songs and in a way making fun of it now this film is a real musical having songs and dance in the movie does not mean it's a musical in most indian films there are breaks in the story so the audience can relax and just enjoy for some time and then we'll get into the plot but here it is a part of storytelling how creatively you are telling a story through a song and dance take example of lala land and i think the fight song when they are fighting about they should demolish the church or not that was my favorite song throughout the film again editing was amazing in this film and i think one particular scene that really stand out for me was the montage in the beginning when we see the story of solomon and susana we see shots of their childhood and their present and how those were mixed together and complemented each other when in present susana was looking at solomon we cut to solomon in his childhood hiding and that was really really innovative i never seen something like this coming to the performance i think everyone was amazing Fahad was amazing. I couldn't even recognize him. It was the first time for me looking at Indrajit Sukumaran, and he carried that swag that his character required. Now coming back to the confusion I have, I think culturally I was just lost. Considering I have a lot of experience, I studied in Catholic schools. I have seen mass. I know a lot about Christianity than an average person, but still I felt lost many times, and that is one of the biggest reason I cannot recommend this film to anyone else. And subtitles did not help at all. There were words in the subtitles which I have not heard in my life. In the beginning, I tried to Google those words, but then it was not working at all. So I said, let it be. Let's just go with the flow. Now at the interval, I just paused the film and broke the film till now into simplest forms. What is the film about? It's about the underdog Solomon. He wants to get the love of his life. He wants to perform, but he cannot. And then there's church politics and corruption. And I think after that, I was more comfortable watching the film. See, now this film is not like other films where you know I can tell what went wrong for me and why I didn't like that film. But here, I am unable to pinpoint the issue. In other words, you can say I didn't have the best experience of watching this film. I feel like the film just went through over my head. I didn't get the point of it. Now the world building is amazing. We know this town now. We know so many characters. We know what's going on culturally, politically. We know this place. They step to this world. I think I was waiting for a twist. I was waiting, you know, something. I was waiting for everything to just go into chaos because I've seen that in LPG's other films. There was also slapstick comedy, which didn't really work for me. There was a moments where I was chuckling, where I was laughing, but some of the slapstick comedy, like I knew, I knew what's happening on the screen is there to make me laugh. I should laugh on it but I was not laughing. It didn't make me laugh. And that ending reveal. I was like, okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I can I can believe it. I can believe that he was the saint. But that twist doesn't alter the film at all. It doesn't make any difference if he was a saint or not. That doesn't change anything. If I watch the film again knowing the twist, it doesn't make any difference to me. And these were my thoughts, guys. We definitely need to talk about a lot of things and we'll do that in the live session. We have to talk about the twist, we have to talk about the symbolism, the man on the tree, the twins. So do join us for that and hit that bell icon. so you get notification whenever we come live so guys that's it that was the video if you like this video hit that thumbs up button comment your thoughts below share this video and if you haven't subscribed yet check out the videos and if you like them too do consider subscribing and i'll see you next time stay home stay safe